Nehemno. Stand with us if you would. Page 191. Down at the cross, down at the cross, where my say, come on church, down where for cleansing from sin I cry, there to my heart was the blood singing Lord verse number two oh I am so wondrously saved from sin Jesus so sweet the abides with Oh, there at the cross where he took Oh, glory Come on, verse number four Come to the fountain Come Cast thy poor soul at the Savior's feet. Oh, plunge in today. Glory to his name. Oh, yes, everybody. I'm singing glory to his name. Singing glory. Oh, there. Singing glory. Come on, everybody. Oh, singing glory. Glory to his name. Singing glory to his name. Whoa. Singing glory. One more time, everybody. Whoa, singing glory. Glory to singing God bless you. You may be seated. Singing glory. We're going to prepare for our mission offering at this time. Amen.
blessings and glory. Father, we come and we thank you for this day. We thank you for those who had given. We pray, oh God, for your blessings upon the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, we still in worship. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Give the Lord some praise on today. Hallelujah. We thank God for our pastor who is working on our technical, um, yeah, working on our technical stuff. Y'all pray for me. I be trying to tell y'all to pray for me. Hallelujah. Before I get ready to do the presentations, everybody need to greet somebody today. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor good morning. Good morning. Come on and raise on your feet and go tell somebody in the back. Good morning. Hallelujah. Come on, Jacoby, give us some riding music. Hallelujah. Come on, get up out of your seat. Y'all sitting. Come on, get up. Up, 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 up. There we go, Dallas Cowboy fan. He coming down. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, tell Sister Coleman good morning. Hallelujah. Tell Sister Williams good morning. Hallelujah. All right, we gathering, we gathering, we still gathering. Come on, say hey, good morning, and let's take a seat. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a lot of people hugging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, gay, gay, good morning. Mia, good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. I see a huddle. It's a Holy Ghost huddle in this aisle. I'm trying to see what's going on in this aisle. Holy Ghost huddle. Amen. Amen. Y'all feel better? Come on, put your hands together. Give God some praise on today. Hallelujah. Amen. How many know they blessed on today? How many know you're blessed? How many know you're blessed? Hallelujah. I got three people on this side saying that they blessed. Oh, I see you. I see you. Hallelujah. I got four. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we got visitors. Come on, visitors. Y'all stand up on today so we can recognize you. Hallelujah. Come on, stand up. Stand up. One, two. Hallelujah. Three, four. You ain't no visitor. <laughs> Amen. On behalf of Pastor Hardaway and myself and the Trinity Baptist Church, we just want to say thank you for coming to visit and to worship with us on today. Hallelujah. Come on, Trinity. Put your hands together for our visitors. Now, in honor of Women's Celebration Month, hallelujah, as I call your name, would you please come up? Amen. Ooh, these are heavy. First up, we have Sister Bernice Williams. Come on, give a hand as she come on down. Hallelujah.
she took the long way too. <laughs> no, hallelujah. All right, Tamika, you got your cell phone working because we need pictures so we can post them on Facebook. Hallelujah. So Sister Bernice Williams, um, we want to present this to you and it says, thank you for your dedication, kindness, and support of this ministry. Trinity Baptist Church, Women's History Month 2024. Come on, you got to stand so she can get your picture. You, you can't take it anywhere. Right there, look at Tamika. Amen. She still didn't get. Come on, I'll pray for Tamika. Amen. All right. Amen. Y'all give our hand. All right. Auntie, your phone working because Tamika's up next. Come on, Tamika. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. For Sister Tamika Feltz, amen. So thank you for the work that you do, the person that you are, and for the difference that you make. Trinity Baptist Church, Williams, William, Williams ooh. <gasps> Women's History Month 2024. Okay, somebody got a cell phone because auntie don't know what she, she don't know how she, amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. All right, we praying for the picture takers, amen. All right, so next up we have Sister Emma Williams, who's accepting her. Amen, y'all give it up. She may be watching. Amen, so we have Sister Louise Williams, who will take her award plaque to her. So it says, Sister Emma Williams, thank you for your years of commitment and dedication to this ministry, Trinity Baptist Church, Women's History Month 2024. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, next up we have Sister Katie L. Smith. Come on, Land. And we have her daughter in law, Sister El Elder Land Harris from Word of Life Ministries, who's going to accept her award. Y'all give it up for Elder Land Harris. Amen. Can I just say this? Um Katie will be coming home on this Tuesday. Amen. Oh, so she's big. got way better, way better. And she's ready to come home. So we praise God for that. Amen. So Sister Katie L. Smith, we thank you for your unconditional commitment and enduring dedicated service to Trinity Baptist Church Women's History Month 2024. Amen. I got to say this one, um, Sister, Cot Sister Todd is getting two, two because they made two by mistake. <laughs> so we don't just, so they must, <laughs> so she's getting two. I just don't want y'all to think she got extra, but they made two, so we giving her the two. <laughs> Amen. Come on down, Sister Todd. Come on down. Hallelujah. Amen. She can put one in the kitchen. She can put one in the bedroom so Brother Todd can see it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, it, was, it, was, it was the same thing. So it says, um, presented to Colleen Todd, we thank you for being so committed and dedicated to service to the Women's Fellowship Ministry, Trinity Baptist Church, Women's History Month 2024. Amen. <laughs> See how that is? Amen. Yep. Brother Todd, she said she got two. Two. 
So on behalf of Pastor Hardaway and myself, we just want to say thank you to those who did receive an award today. Now I need every woman in the building to stand to your feet. Come on, every woman. Every woman. Every woman. Every woman. So we just want to honor you for this month, for all the work that you do outside of Trinity Baptist Church and within Trinity Baptist Church. So on this Women's History Month 2024, we just want to recognize you and say thank you for your hard work and your dedication. Come on, give it up for yourselves. Amen. Amen. Let's give Dr. Karen a hand. Amen. Thank you. Thank you to all those that have received. Thank you for your love and your contribution to the, to the church. We are praying for um, the family of Brother Barber, who passed away on this week. Um, funeral services at Rooney's Funeral Home on Thursday. The wake is at 11 and the service is at noon. Uh, Pastor Cersei will be doing the funeral. Uh, just so y'all know beforehand, I have a physical schedule six months out, and so I will not be there, but he knows that, and we ask that you continue to pray for the family. Don't forget our Good Friday services on uh, Friday, on Friday, <laughs> Good Friday, uh, at noon promptly. Um, we have, um, as you have seen on the flyer, a multitude of preachers. Uh, the pastors that are participating, Pastor Caldwell, Pastor Cersei also will be doing scripture and prayer. Uh, Marsha McWilson will be singing, and we ask that you would uh, support that. If you have not took a flyer, gave it to someone, or go somewhere, or pinned it up, we ask that you would do that. Then announce the other Good Friday service, because most of you don't go to Buffalo, but on that evening at 7 p.m., I'll be preaching at the Revelation Baptist Church. This, the fifth word from the cross, the fifth word from the cross, Revelation Baptist Church at 833 Fillmore Avenue in the city of Buffalo. My godfather, the pastor, the Reverend Dr. J.R. Christopher. So we ask that you keep that's a full day for a lot of us church folks. And they've started Good Friday services this past week and they're going on all week. Other things that, that they celebrate Monday, Thursday, Wednesday. Uh, we So we are in this week of, 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 of holiness, amen. This is the holy week, the holy week, amen. And so we're going to remember what Christ has done for us. Amen, church. Good to see all of y'all today. Amen. Good to see you. Give yourself a hand. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for those who are watching us. For those who are watching us, there is a problem because I was trying something new and if it goes out I might have to turn it off and turn it back on but it will come back on but hopefully we'll keep it just the way it is we won't hold you too long it's always nice to be nice amen let me say it again it's always nice to be nice let's continue to pray for all of our sick and our shut-in pray for those who are in need of prayer 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 changes things can I say that again Prayer changes things, and so we are just grateful for all of you. Amen. Thank you, Brother Mitchell, for coming today. He said I told him not to come, so he's here. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Jacoby, for coming. We're going to get it together. Amen. I might have to keep all of them hanging around. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. But y'all have to get some money, too. Yeah. <laughs> this is our period for our tithes, our offering. Bible asks the question, will a man rob God? Since we rob him in our tithes, our offering. And it tells us that we need to bring our tithes into the storehouse that there might be meat in my house. Uh, some people think money goes down because people stop giving. It's not because of that, but we've lost a lot of people. Amen. People have died and, and gone on, and, and yet we have to continue to upkeep of the church. The second thing is that it's up to you to invite other people to church. Don't just talk about the church and then you want people to come to church, but you have to invite people to church. You got to be happy about your church if this is your church. Amen. Come on, somebody. So we invite you to, to, to invite somebody to come. Don't forget our Good Friday speakers again, missionary Irene Wilson, Pastor Harvey Kelly, Reverend Cheryl Miles, Pastor Charles Walker, Bishop Kevin Dobbs. 
Dr. Karen Hardaway and Archbishop Stephen Booz on Good Friday, amen, from 12 to 3. 12 to 3. For those who don't like to go out at night, from 12 to 3. Amen. Come on and give. Come on and give. The Lord is good. Those who give online, give Lafayette. Trinity Baptist Church of Niagara Falls, New York. Cash app, TBC, dollar sign, TBC, NF. We thank you for all of your gifts and your support. Amen. Father, we come and we thank you for these things. We pray for your blessings upon the offerings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Whew, I'm tired. Yeah, come on, put your hands together. Give the Lord a hand. Praise on today. I mean, two cameras praying for our pastor. Amen. Just sing a portion of a song and then we're going to go into prayer. There's a lot of prayer requests that have been given um, to me so I need to honor those requests but more than that I honor God. Amen. Come on put your hands together.
hands to to you ah, amen ah, amen ah, amen ah, amen ah, give God total praise on today. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you because it's total praise that we give you on today. Come on, make your way down to the altar. Hallelujah, praising God. Come on, make your way down to the altar. Come on, Kim. Come on, Tamara. Hallelujah. Come on, Land. Come on down to the altar. Hallelujah. Come on, if you believe God on today. Hallelujah. Come on, believe him. Believe him today. Hallelujah. If you need God to answer you today. Hallelujah. Come on down to the altar. Come on and meet me at the altar today. Come on down. You believe God today. If you believe him, you believe him. Come on, Tamika. I need you to stand next to me today. I feel a move of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on down today. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to shift some things today. Hallelujah. I need you to put those hands together and set the atmosphere. Hallelujah. To receive the breakthrough on today. God has some awesome things at the altar if you just trust him on today. So, Father, with everything that is within me today, Father, with everything that is within me today, Father, with everything that is within me today, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would move by your spirit today, that you would move by fire today in the name of Jesus. God, these people came down to the altar today because they believe you to be the God of a breakthrough. They believe you to be a God of a second chance. They believe you to be the God of another chance. They believe you to be the miracle worker. They believe you to be the promise keeper. They believe you to be a deliverer. They believe you to be a healer. So God, in the name of Jesus, move, 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 God. Move, 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 God, in the name of Jesus. Move, 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 God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Go the lift and breath of the altar today. Go the lift breath, God. North, south, east, and west, God, in the sanctuary, in the name of Jesus. Move, God, move, God, move. Oh God, deliver God, deliver in the name of Jesus today. God, we need a breakthrough today. We need to break through today, God. We need a breakthrough today, God. Break, 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 break. Today in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we give you the praise. Come on, people of God, put those hands together. God is doing a new thing right now. He said, shall I not do it? Shall it not spring forth? In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for your power. We thank you for riding through Jerusalem on a donkey in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the work that you did at Calvary. Now God, get us ready. Get us ready. Get us ready. So many people getting ready for the eclipse, but we need to get ready for your return in the name of Jesus. God, you are God of the universe. So we thank you for what you're getting ready to do in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Uproot and pluck up God in the name of Jesus. Whoever's bound, God, take Take the stones away in the name of Jesus. Take the linens off, God, in the name of Jesus. Take the bondage off in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we need you to move. Come on, people of God, don't get tired, oh, God. Don't get tired on him. Don't get tired on him. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Oh, oh God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. God, I need you to carry Kim all the way to her destination in the name of Jesus. I need you to keep her while she's on the waters in the name of Jesus. I need you to keep her while she's traveling, God. First time, God, in the name of Jesus. I need you to wrap your angels all around in the name of Jesus. Now, God, I believe that Martha Payton has cried out unto you in the name of Jesus and God if you allow me to heal cancer in another patient I decree and declare that you heal Martha Payton right now God dry up everything that is hindering her body dry it up right now 
in the name of Jesus. Now, God, go down the street. I need you to touch him with Williams. I need you to get down in her body. I need you to uproot and to pluck up everything that is hindering her. Now, God, I need you to touch Katie. I need you to touch her mind. Touch her mind, 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 mind. Oh, devil, you can't have her mind. In the name of Jesus, you can't have her mind. Touch her body right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, somebody needs a financial blessing. Oh, they broke. They said they broke. But God, we bind that spirit of poverty right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare financial breakthrough right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. Everybody at this altar, God, hide, hide, hide. They hide, God. They hide. They hide because they don't want to give up the world. But God, I pray that you would expose every demon in the name of Jesus that's trying to keep them hidden in the name of Jesus and move by your spirit and by your power. God, I pray for Pastor Hardaway today. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would remove the scales from his eyes, God, so that he can see you in the name of Jesus, so that he can preach with power in the name of Jesus. Oh God, have your way right up and through here. Have your way right up and through here. Oh, I hear you, Jacoby. Jacoby said, pray for me, because I need prayer. I need you to pray for me. So I pray right now for Jacoby. I pray right now, oh God, that you would touch his spirit. I pray right now that you would save Jacoby. Save Jacoby. Save him right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Wants to do your will. Too many people talking in his ear. Too many people saying this and that. But I bind that gossip up right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I need you to move. I need you to move. Come on, people. I got to put your hands together. God is getting ready to do it. God make us ready. You're getting ready to do it. I feel 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 it. Oh God, I feel it. In the name of Jesus, God, break, 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 God, break, 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 Break right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, one more person, one more person. God heard you, God heard you, God heard you. Oh, God heard you. Oh, you're watching, God heard you. You at this you at this altar, God heard you. Your breakthrough is gonna hit you when you get back to your seat. Come on, people of God, put your hands together. As you go back to your seat, praising God. Go back to your seat, praising God. Go back to your seat, praising God right now. Go back to your seat, praising God. To God be the glory for the marvelous things that he has done. God, you did it today. Come on, people of God, put those hands together. Don't get tired on God. God didn't get tired on you. Hallelujah. I know you came for a presentation, but God gave you a visitation in the name of Jesus. So, God, we thank you. 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 Thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God.
easy. Every hour I need thee, oh bless me now, my Savior, I come to to thee. I need, anybody need them today? The oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to, to thee. Can somebody help me just say, I need, anybody here need them today? The oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my. Savior, I, I come to, to thee, yeah, yeah. talking about been my friend been my friend been my friend been my friend How you kept me through the night, Lord, you kept me, never left me, you stood right by my side. There's been times when I didn't know I could make it, God's grace, it helped me through, but all oh, men devil. Try to stake me out. There's a reason why I can shout and go. 
God's grace, God's grace, God's grace, God's grace, I made it far. By the grace of God, it's God's grace, God's grace, God's grace. God's grace, I made it this far by the grace of God. It's God's grace. God's grace. I made it this far by the grace of God. Nothing but God's grace. Anybody here know about God's grace? Anybody here know about God's grace? I said, does anybody here know about God's grace? I made it thus far by the grace of God. Amen. Take your Bibles again on today as we go back into the previously read scripture of Matthew's chapter 26, Matthew chapter 26, I want to remind you of that first verse and the following verses of Matthew chapter 26. Uh, when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said to his disciples, you know that after two days the Passover is coming and the Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Verse 6, amen, because I noticed y'all didn't stand today. <laughs> now, when Jesus was at Bethany in the house, Simon the leper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask, a very expensive ointment. She poured it on his head as he reclined at the table. When the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, why waste this? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble this woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. You may be seated. God bless you. I want to talk a few minutes from this subject. Be like the anointing woman. Be like the anointing woman. I want to talk about this subject. Be like the anointing woman. It's, it's kind of hard trying to put this all together this being Palm Sunday at the same time. Um, we uh, also wanted to recognize um, the women for Women Month. It, it seems like this is to me that every month got so many days. We honoring everybody and everything. And it's like you have to, you have to put them together or you ignore. And then when you ignore, you hurt somebody's feeling. If you hurt somebody's feelings if you miss that day. We missed homecoming. And so we're going to have to do something with the church anniversary. Again, 100 years for the church anniversary. And, and so we need to be working to do something for the church anniversary as well. Amen and amen. This is uh, a passage of scripture that talks not only to men, but also to women. Uh, this day we call Palm Sunday. Now, I, you know, I noticed that uh, this is where we were able to get these palms. I know on Palm Sunday, people take these palms, then they stick them in their car window. It's like something special to them. Like that's going to ward off some evil. Or that it's going to protect them and they keep it. And, and, and y'all think I'm joking, but some people say, I got to get my palms. I got to put it in my window. I got it on my living room table. They said, this doesn't do nothing. This is just a remembrance. Hold, holds no special power. Because if you don't have the power within yourself, then you ain't got no power at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not superstitious. We don't believe in, in, in those type of relics. But this is to remind us of that day that is leading up to the death and the burial, the resurrection of Jesus. 
we could spend all day. I noticed um, say this all the time. People become Facebook theologians. Um, we are surrounded, inundated um, with different people with different opinions. Um, for the first time yesterday, I ever, and some I saw it in some houses and neighborhoods, I never saw where the paper that is distributed by the Nation of Islam was hanging on our doors. They passing them out. They want you to get, to get it in your house and read it. It was on the doors. It, it was on the doors. A um, few weeks ago, um, the, actually the weekend that I was out of town, several churches were hit with signs on their doors. Um, thank God for a neighbor across the street that called me and took it down, but our church, True Bethel Potter House, had signs saying, warning to the apostate church. And that basically saying the church, that the church of today is not of God, uh, which no one has the right to do to any doors of any church. You uh, think that there's other groups out there right now. Some of y'all have encountered, or maybe you haven't, black Hebrews who go around and they talk about the black person is the original uh, nation of Israel, but they put down everything that, that, that you believe in. A few, few weeks, a few years ago during COVID, I think the first COVID, when we stood outside and gave out palms, a man drove by and he stopped and he wanted to have a discussion with me saying that Easter was false and fake. And he was a member of the Black Hebrews and he wanted to, to have a discussion and um, anybody know, I don't get into arguments or discussions. I'm not gonna let you say something about me, you just say it. That's what people want, they want to get you. And I don't allow that, y'all should know that already. But the, he won't have, a, at the end of after this conversation, I said, now that you finish with me, would you take my palm? He said, well, you listen to me, I'll take your palm. Look, you got people out here who want to discourage you. They want you to believe that there's nothing to this day, that there's nothing to this thing that we call religion. We have people that have fallen away when I say fall in the way they have because they have been seduced by other minds that they think that they have lost, they have left Christianity. They said they have gone to follow Allah. They've gone to follow uh, Jehovah. Some of y'all ought to be careful with some of these places y'all go and you go to visit, amen. Because if you're not, if you don't know for sure what your hope is in, they can mess you up. I, I know I'm right about it. We need to be careful, we need to be, there needs to be stronger teaching today. There are, uh, I've been in these discussions with the nation of Islam where they talked about the birth of Jesus and the virginity of Jesus. Are y'all here with me? Y'all listening to me? And they, they talked about those things. They said, how can, they say, said, how can uh, a virgin have a child? And I asked them, do they know the book of Genesis? Say, yeah, we know the book of Genesis. Do you believe the book of Yeah, we believe the book of Genesis. God created man from dirt. If God created man from dirt, certainly he can put a man in a virgin. We got to know how to talk with these people. We have to ask them. We have to know how to deal with this subject because the Satan is trying to sift us as we. Amen. And we fall away. We believe anything. If it's on Facebook, we believe it. Come on and help me, somebody here. If it's on Twitter, if, it, if it's something that somebody said on TV, we'll, we'll believe it without doing any research. We'll say they said it. We, we messed up relationships because we believe what other people say instead of finding out for ourselves what those people are actually like. Preach, Hardaway. I'm already preaching. Thank you, Jesus. So, with my brothers and sisters, this is Palm Sunday. It's, uh, an ecclesial grammar, the Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion. It always gives us too much to take in. It begins with Jesus' entry into the holy city of Jerusalem and then portrays how in the course of one single week, every sort of person became complicit in his martyrdom. One way to avoid being overwhelmed is to accompany one character through this week, this week, this holy week. And as a companion, as the 
portion of my sermon is directed, I decided or I wanted to nominate this nameless woman, this nameless woman who anointed Jesus, amen, at supper on what was the fourth day of his last week of life. Some of us have tried to identify her, but in this gospel, and particularly in, 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 in the other gospels as well, it was avoided, and not necessarily because they did not know who she was, but because identifying her would define her, setting her off from the rest of humanity. Because, because the gospel left her anonymous, we can represent myriads of others called to follow her example. You don't have to have a name, just be an example. And I guess I'm going to say a lot of people. Do you know there's a lot of people that have influenced this world for Christ? We don't even know what their names are. And it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as they have influenced somebody's life. Somebody, somebody, somebody prayed for you. Can I get some witnesses here? Some folks you didn't even know prayed for you. They just looked at you and knew and thought that I need to pray. Can I get some witnesses here? You've done the same thing. You've done the same thing. You've done the same thing. You've looked and you knew that, that before you could even think you had started praying. My brothers and sisters, we don't know her name. Amen. Doesn't matter her name. Sometimes you don't want to get defined by who you are and who you hang around. Can I get some witnesses here? But she left a mark uh, that is represents a myriad of others called to follow her example. In spite of her anonymity, there was absolutely nothing subtle or secret about this scene. The woman approached Jesus carrying the type of fragile stone jar used to preserve precious imported perfume. Itself bespoke extravagance. Amen. Most of the witnesses were probably astounded when she broke the jar rather than dispense just the, the amount needed for a simple gesture. Destroying it though indicated that 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 uh, she would rather than hold anything back she intended to allow its entire content to flow over Jesus' head. Now, when I stutter, y'all know my glasses is off. Amen. But, 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 but she, 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 the content she wanted to flow over Jesus' head, the room would have been saturated with aroma that many simple folks had rarely experienced. The oil would have dripped from his head to beard to his shoulders and further down. The, the, the anointing woman came to Jesus during the last week of his life. She had probably seen him enter Jerusalem like a pauper king, acclaimed with cries of folks that were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. And like everyone else, she had have known that his cleansing of the temple had infuriated the authority. She had heard his retorts in the parable of the wicked tenant in his critique of the pretentious scribes. And by the time he reclined at the table with Simon and his friends, amen, the air around Jesus was permeated with an aura of danger. There were folks mad at him, folks that wanted to, to kill him. His friends understood that the murderous, murderous tenants of Jesus' parable had their real life counterparts among powerful people who were even then plotting his death. Now, if, if, if you look at the background, at least three times, Jesus had told his disciples that he would suffer and die. Three times, I'm going to suffer. I'm going to die. Only to see how they avoided facing the reality. He had told them, three times I'm going to die. They tried to change the subject. Three times I'm going to die. They tried to ignore what he was saying. Three times I'm, I'm going to die. And they would look 
the other way. You ever met folks like that? You're trying to tell them the truth and they're looking at everything else because they don't want to face what is real. And, and during this final week of his life, one of them would sell him out and the rest of the men would run and hide or openly deny knowing him. Should I say that again? That, that, that they, these men, hello somebody, would sell him out. He would be betrayed by one disciple. One disciple, amen. The other disciples would run and hide and another would openly deny him. So much to the point that they kept questioning him that he began to cuss them out. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But during this last week, when danger was in the air, and the powerful were planning his demise, there was this one woman. Y'all don't hear me today. I need, one, I need a woman in here to say one woman. There was one woman that gave her all in an extravagant gesture of faith. Often telling of this story focuses on the complaint. A lot of times when this, this story is given, when it is taught, when it's preached, it, it focuses on the complaint the disciples had about waste. And Jesus responds that she was preparing him for death. But rarely do we emphasize that her anointing was a symbolic statement that he was the Christ, the son of the little living God that he was the Christ, a title which literally means the anointed one. She did that, don't do that, don't even hit the keys, I ain't even that way. <laughs> she, she did not make this gesture while he was at the height of his power when crowds flocked to him. She didn't make this suggestion when everybody was around him with palms saying glory to God. I see everybody wants to be around you when you are popular. But everybody likes you. Nobody has a problem of being with you. But when Jesus was by himself among his friends, knowing that his time was to die soon, this is when the woman showed up. People don't need you when you're popular. I wish I had some witnesses here. I, I don't need you when everybody likes me. You got enough folks that that, I, that will, excuse my friend, will suck up to you. Can I get some witnesses? But I need folks that, 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 that are with me in my lowest time. I need folks that are with me when I got tears to cry. I need folks that are with me in my dark day. The folks, when you're in your dark days, they'll walk away from you. They won't know how to talk to you. They don't know what to say. Can I get a witness? Sometimes you wish they would be quiet, but sometimes you just need somebody to show up and say, I'm here. Can I get some witnesses? I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here. Amen. And here she was. She, 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 she shows up. She, and and she, so she did not make it at the height of the power when crowds blocked him, or even as part of the cheering crowd as he entered Jerusalem. She anointed him as his fate was becoming ever more obvious when fickle crowds were starting to blow with the wind. Y'all don't know about that. Ready to join in jealous jeers, demanding his crucifixion, Jesus himself explained that by saying she was preparing him for his death. The anointed woman is the counterpart, counterpart to the other disciples and to all those who refuse to believe in Jesus' message. With one extravagant gesture, she professed her belief that he, the vulnerable prophet, who was surely about to die, was indeed God's anointed one. And by pouring, look, 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 look. They said, they, what, this is what they said. All she had to do was to take the bottle and just pour a little bit out. Y'all know how that is, don't y'all? Whoa, 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 whoa. But why are you giving them all of that? They, they don't need all of that. Just, just give them a little bit. Y'all are helping me today. Y'all know I'm going to preach anyway. We, we some little bit folks. 
We want to give folks a little bit of stuff. I know I ain't going I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all that. I wish I had some witnesses here. I mean, I tell y'all a story. This morning, I'm in this group, and I think I might have told you the group that is uh, it's a pastor from all over the country on Facebook. It's a private group. You can't see it unless we let you. And I'm the mo- I'm one of the moderators. I head the group actually. Uh, so when something happens with somebody, that's why sometimes I'm going somewhere. If I'm preaching, I have to go somewhere. But in the group, there's one person that does not ever say anything. If somebody passes away, he don't say nothing. We've had two members in the group pass away this year. If somebody has a birthday, he doesn't say nothing. He says nothing at all. He won't say happy birthday to nobody. But if he has something, he wants you to say everything. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? So this morning, this morning, I looked and I saw it was his birthday. And I went into the private section where the other moderators and said to them, y'all better tell him happy birthday today. Because I ain't saying nothing. I know I was being petty. I was being petty. Yeah, I was being, but if he ain't never told me happy birthday, why I'm wasting my time? Come on. Tell him happy birthday. Because that's, that's how we are as humans sometimes. And somebody else, one of the other moderators said, I'll, I'll go say it. And I said, and he said, but I ain't going to say it nicely. Because we know how these people are. But he, but he said, and I said, I still ain't going to say nothing. You know, like, <laughs> My conscience eating at me. I'm going to say happy birthday later, (laughs) y'all. But the point is, that's how we are. We only do if folks do for us. Did y'all hear me? Yeah, and and so, and when I, the reason I gave you that story to tell you that I'm no different, I'm human just like y'all are. That we have, we get attitude, we get stuff. But, 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 but here we are, and this woman came to Jesus. And she didn't just give him a little bit. But the Bible says she broke the bottle and poured it all on him. Can I get some witnesses here? I worship you. I adore you. I love you, Lord, for who you are. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. The question is to somebody here, do you love the Lord? Do you love the Lord? Are you willing to give your all and your all? Are you willing to say, Lord, whatever I have? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With one extravagant gesture, she professed her belief that he was the prophet, the anointed one. And by point over, she proclaimed her faith that God was working through this man who taught that love was the only law of life. I hope those people that are watching us that I talked about just now, (laughs) the law of, (laughs) the law, (laughs) the the law, you know, sometimes you talk too much, amen. The law of life. She split her riches in a show of faith that wealth is worthless and God is not revealed through through human power. And I'm done. The the, the anointing woman, the first among the women who stood by Jesus through his crucifixion expressed her faith in faithfulness in a gesture of love that went beyond every verbal proclamation. This is what she did. She shared Jesus' own faith, amen, that, 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 that God's ways are beyond human understanding. Amen. Because as one theologian said, God is love and a passion which stands infinity beyond any insult from us. Oh, God is our love. God is our love. God is our love. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? God is our love. This year, we might walk through this week inspired by the anointing woman. Rather than focus on how we too often mirror the betrayers, let us invite her to teach us about living a faith that goes beyond understanding. It could cost us everything, 
But isn't that the message of this Holy Week? That whatever it costs, whatever it costs, is still not enough based on what Jesus has done for us. Are you, are you, are you, are you, hold up, Jacoby, are you, are you, are you the anointing woman? If you are the anointing woman, God will use you in a special, special. I, I posted yesterday, my wife asked me to post it. And I, at first I wasn't going to post it, but then I, I, I thought about it. But she, she gave this testimony, and I just post what it says. It says that while my wife, Dr. Heron, was preparing to cook last week, she received a text message from a member of a local church in the falls. The message was regarding one of their family members who lives out of state. She calls the woman, and before she could say who she was, the woman was in tears. The woman says that she received a cancer diagnosis and was completely devastated. She, she went for a walk and looked up while talking to God and he showed her my wife's face. The woman had never met my wife, but she saw her preaching on social media and said that that woman has Jesus wrapped all around her and I need her to pray for me. She called a family member in the falls, described my wife and she tracked her down. The power of God hit the phone the woman was crying harder and thanking God at the same time. Before the call ended, the woman said, hold on, it's the doctor's office. I'll have to call you back. The woman, after she talked to the doctor, called my wife back and said, you prayed for me. And the doctor just called and said, there is no cancer. All you got to be is the anointing woman. I don't care what your name is. It don't have to be my wife. But be who God says that you're going to be. And God can use you. I wish I had some witnesses here. God will use you. God will use you. If you let him. You let him. Father, we come and we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for all that you have done. There's somebody here that needed to hear this message on a day. Man or woman, boy or girl, we want to be just like this woman who anointed you. We want to give you all that we have. Everything we have. It belongs to you. Father, we come and we thank you. We thank you for what you have done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And the church said, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, wife. I don't even know how I'm going to be closing sometime, but God sends something right when you need it. And he'll tell you just what to say might be somebody that's watching us that desires Christ in your life, somebody that desires to be saved. This is your day, your opportunity. Maybe you're not part of a fellowship and you want to be part of this church. Not even if it's this church, we'll see you where you need to be, but we want your heart to be right. We want your mind to be right. We want your spirit to be right. This is your day to make up your mind. Those who are watching us, you can call us, 716-285-743, trinity at trinitynf.org. Whatever you do, make sure that God is in your life. And the church said amen. Amen. If there's anybody here, this is your opportunity to give your life to the Lord. God God is. God is. Oh, bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. God is. Bless your name. God is my all. And all. In the church said, Amen. 
God is good. How many of you know God is good today? Come on, put your hands together. Give God the praise. 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 I just need somebody. Give God the praise. If I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Bless you. Thank God for each and every one of you. Pray that you've been blessed by the message. There's still room for more. Pray you've been blessed. Pray that God will go with you, that he will stand by you, he will strengthen you. We pray, and I believe this today, for healing power. God is about to heal. God is about to heal. There's certain things in my body. God can do it. God can do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I just need somebody to say thank you, Jesus. It's already done. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your people. Pray that you go with us as we leave this place. And we give you all the praise and all of the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank God. And the church said amen. amen. Consider yourself dismissed. God bless you. The Lord be with you is our prayer. Thank you, Lord. Love you all. <laughs>